Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Matt Lloyd. So uh, we're at the Diamond Mastermind here in Bali and Chan is here from Singapore and he's got the question for today. And this is a question for people who are wanting to start a business who are currently working uh, in a job. Thank you, Matt. Uh, actually, Matt, I'm currently uh, working as an IT professional. I often work long hour and maybe sometimes uh, have to work overnight and long long weekends without any uh, any long weekend. So I would like to ask you if I have an idea, I would like to start my business. Mm -hmm. And um, so for people just like me, should I quit my job to start doing the, the business full time or, or I just, just keep doing my job and start the business along the way? Yeah, um, I think that anyone who's full time in a job mm -hmm. and they want to start a business, um, could they quit their job and go full-time into the business? Yes. Would I recommend that? It really depends. Most of the time, uh, I would say no. I would say that just start it part-time and get it up and running. And once, once you're earning decent money from it, then you might consider quitting the job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm a big believer that uh, there's no such thing as I don't have the time. Okay, I really don't like when I when I hear that line, when people make that excuse, they say, I don't have the time, I've got too many too many commitments. Because at the end of the day, we, we all have 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. um, you have 24 hours in a day, I have 24 hours a day. Warren Buffett has 24 hours in a day. So we all have, we all have time, it's more a matter of priorities. Mm -hmm. And uh, sure, some people, they're gonna put their, their career, their family and all of that as the number one priorities. Uh, family, of course, that's perfectly fine. People are gonna do that. Mm -hmm. um, but there's other things in their life like watching their favorite TV show or, um, you know, or just going out on Friday night drinking with their buddies. You know, there's things like that which they are placing as a higher priority mm -hmm. than, than starting a business. So it's not so much a matter of not having enough time, it's just having priorities in not the right order to start a business. In order to start a business, you need to move the business higher up in that chain of priorities. It's got to be somewhere up there around the top three priorities. Okay. I always say that if, if someone wants to be an entrepreneur, if they don't have their business in their top three priorities at least, then they're, they're probably just not serious enough about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you almost have to put it above, um, you know, about everything else besides family, um, but certainly above, above career at some point. Your business has to start taking more of a focus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what people should be doing is they should be looking for opportunities throughout their day where they are currently expending time where they could be working on the business at the same time. So let me give you an example. We've got one of our, our consultants or affiliates uh, from Moab who's made close to $3 million now. He's from California. He's wow. been doing this for, for about three years. And um, what he does is every time he gets in his car and he drives somewhere, um, normally most people, what do they do when they're driving in the car? They're listening to music, mm -hmm. um, they've got the radio on, and it's not exactly the most productive time. So rather than doing that, what he's doing is he's creating content, content that he can monetize and content that he can put online like videos um, on his blog and, and so forth to promote. Okay, so we looked at that today in the seminar room, we were talking about this guy, his name's John Chow. So uh, John, if you're watching this, thanks a lot for your, for your support of Mo. But John, he's always creating content that he, use, that he can use to promote. And how many people could do that? How many people sit in the car every day drive the work, and they could, be, they could be using that time to maybe be selling one-on-one -on, -one on the phone, mm -hmm. finding joint venture partners, mm -hmm. finding product suppliers. Um, they, could, they could be using that time to build their business, especially if they're in Singapore, right? Because you're, you're in Singapore, and, and I believe traffic's really bad there. Yeah. I bet a lot of people in Singapore uh, spend a lot of time in traffic every day. Right, so someone might be spending an hour going to work every day. Like, how long do you spend going to work? This is about an hour. Okay, there. so you spend an hour going to work every day and yeah. back, so that's probably close to two hours a day. Is that five or six days a week? Yes. Six days? Uh, we work five days a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's 10 hours right there. Now, mm -hmm. what, what do you typically do when, you are, when you're in the car and uh, you're yeah. going to work? 
Yeah, currently, yeah, I just listen to music. Listen to music. <laughs> yeah, so right now, listening to music, that's taking a priority over your business. And mm -hmm. that's your choice. You know, people can choose whatever they want. They can live their life however they want. But mm -hmm. if, if you want to get really serious about your business and you've got big ambitious goals mm -hmm. and you eventually want to quit that job and do the business full time, then the business has to take priority over listening to music. I'm not saying that you completely give up all of your the things that you like to do. Sure, listen to some music, but but really the, the business needs to be much higher up in priorities. Mm -hmm. When I started my business um, and I got into internet marketing, I used to watch a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. now, I still watch a lot of movies, but there was a time when I used to watch sometimes, could even be several a day. Mm -hmm. right? I used to watch way too many movies and I realized I'm putting movies, my entertainment, above my business. And after about uh, more than a year of just struggling and just constantly spending money in my business and having nothing come back, I just got so fed up with it that I, I thought, you know what, I, I just need to make this a much higher priority and start taking this uh, much more seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's my advice. I'd say that person in the job, Find find those moments of, of what you what you might almost call dead time. It's okay. it's unproductive time mm -hmm. where you can be doing things that help you get more customers and help you launch your business, get it off the ground, and get some income coming in. Mm -hmm. Make your focus on generating cash. In the very beginning, every entrepreneur, every business owner, their focus should be on generating cash. Okay, getting customers and having some cash coming in because with the cash now we can scale. With cash, now you can get um, a better website, now you can hire your first sales staff, now you can um, hire people to do admin, customer support, and now you can do a better job supporting your customers. And of course, now you can start to um, think about quitting the job mm -hmm. and going full time with the business. Gotcha. Yeah. So two hours a day, just in driving time, that is plenty to start a business and to get it off the ground. It really is. That's what someone should do rather than just completely quitting their job, having no source of income, mm -hmm. and, and building the business full time. Even though that's what I did. That's what I did. I, I did quit all of my, my other jobs, and I did go full time, but um, I wouldn't recommend that for most people. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that help, Chen? Yeah, thanks so much for your advice, Matt. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay, so if you have a question for me, go to askmattlow.com. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>